One thing that I think audiences will enjoy and certainly tune in for is to see you being able to use your sort of full range of, of, of physical comedy. Right, which yes. Which we've, we've come to enjoy in, in various different yes. sort of iterations in the past. Do you, think, do you think we see enough of that? anymore uh, because you know from Keaton to Chaplin and through to like mm. Mail and Edmondson and, and yourself mm. it was mm. a staple of comedy for years but it feels like something we yeah. don't get to enjoy as much yeah I, I mean I've done quite a lot of it as you know you know if you do Mr Bean then you, you've done a lot of visual comedy and I like it but may but it, it you know traditionally it didn't used to be a thing for television you know television was a verbal comedy medium because it grew out of radio which was by necessity a verbal comedy medium um, and then I thought maybe with Mr Bean which we started many you know decades ago I thought that maybe more people would have tried to do visual comedy mm -hmm. um, I mean you see it in in film I mean one of the problems with visual comedy is it tends to be relatively expensive uh, to make dialogue is quite cheap you know just stick two people in a room and get them to to talk to each other it's it's quite low cost whereas as soon as you, you, you've got people you know falling through doors or um, or, or having trouble with, with the washing machine it, it suddenly takes on a whole extra level of complexity so it's not it's not very cheap as entertainment mm. goes but I'm slightly surprised that there isn't more of it because it is perfectly possible to do which I hope we are continuing to prove um, and it'd be nice to see more of it. Do you think people are a little bit too sensitive at times to it. I, I was putting out a show yesterday on Channel 5 and I put a clip of the new Matilda movie, Matilda yeah. Musical. Oh, yeah. It was a famous Roald Dahl scene where she, uh, one of the girls from the school is like swung around by her hair and thrown away by Miss Trunchbull. Right. And I got a message from the legal team later on saying, can we take that out? That's, that's going to be too scary. And that's from, a, that's from a, a film for children. Do you think there's oh, a certain sensibility we're starting to lose now? Yeah, well, sorry, they took it out from your show or they've taken it out of the from film? From our show. It's still in the film, yeah. Still in the it film. couldn't be on like, an entertainment sort of bulletin. Oh, I see what you mean. So they thought it wasn't suitable for your particular yeah. show. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you can be too... I mean, yeah, children can take, uh, you know, a tremendous... Well, they enjoy, you know, a tremendous amount of... Um, sorry, I'll start the answer again. What, I, what, what can I say? Um, well, uh, yeah... Yeah, I think children are pretty resilient. You know, generally you can show them a great deal. You can't show them absolutely everything, but you can show them a great deal. I mean, one of, one of the things about man versus bee is I think adults, not so much children, I think adults find it quite a stressful show to watch. I've had quite a few adults say to me, I find it quite anxiety-inducing because a bit like Mr. Bean, you know that things are going to go wrong. And it makes people nervous because they they know something's going to go wrong quite soon, but they don't quite know what it is. Um, and and I think I think children are slightly more tolerant of that, whereas actually adults are less tolerant. I think um, at the same time, adults know how expensive it's going to be when things are breaking or setting on fire. Yes, yes, in, in the uh, house. Uh, uh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, yes, exactly. Maybe, maybe they've more. Yeah, they've more appreciate, appreciation of the pounds and pence that are being spent. But we enjoy the chaos nonetheless, uh, and I enjoyed the yeah. chaos in this and hope to see yeah, great. Okay. potentially a lot more of it and a oh, more well, of you, you if I can. Much. Ron Atkinson, it's been an absolute pleasure beyond words. Well, to, thank to you for coming. Well, thank you for coming, and, and uh, thank you for being so nice. You're very sweet. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Honestly, an honour, okay. an absolute okay. honour. Thanks, okay. mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Okay, you and Johnny, I've